so so here we have this so in this in this problem we have this this beam here essentially a rigid beam we'll call this a rigid beam right here rigid beam so that's important this has to be a rigid beam for this to work okay so i will darken it in this is a rigid beam rigid Rigid beams, that means it doesn't bend or uh, really deform, okay? Uh, and here I have a links right here, and I'll, I wanna, I'll just call this, uh, let me call this point A, point B, point C, point D, point E, and point F. And I have links B, E, and C, F, kind of holding it up. And then this is a pin support down here. This is a pin down there, okay? And uh, um, and I want to find the forces in links B, E, and C, F. And I have 600 newtons applied horizontally at A, and then three, um, three distances, 0.3 meters for segment A, B, segment B, C, and then 0.2 meters for segment C, D. The length of C, F is 0.5, and then 0.4 meters. Gosh, could I have made it any more like complicated, okay? So the first thing you want to do is draw a, a free body diagram, right? So the first thing is this free body diagram, and and you have a couple choices here. So one is, uh, here, let's do it over here. One is a schematic of that beam, or the column, whatever you want to call it, schematic of A, B, C, D, okay? And here is my rigid beam A, B, C, D, like this right here. And I have to make a choice right now. At point B right here, I have to decide whether I'm going to assume B, E is in tension or in compression, okay? If I assume member B, E is in tension, then I'm gonna draw it right here like this, N, B, E, okay? And here's my 600 Newtons. And then if I'm gonna assume member C, F is in tension, I'm going to draw it like this right here, N, C, F. Okay? Everyone okay with that? And now I, and I also have reactions here, D, Y, and D, X. But these, these provide no help to me, you know, like in terms of uh, the, these supports at D. So that means the sum of the forces in the Y and the sum of the forces in the vertical provide no help to me. I really need the equation that's of really importance here, equilibrium equation. So here, this next thing to do is to do the equilibrium equation. Equilibrium, to find the equilibrium, you know, and if you don't know, you do all of them anyway, okay? And you're gonna, and you're gonna see that we're gonna have to come up with a compatibility condition that only involves N, the, in, the internal forces in the link. So whatever it happens, you can, you'll end up with three equations right now with all the equilibrium equations. You're only gonna need one to solve for the links, okay? And that one is some of the moments about D. Right here. So if I sum moments about D right here, I would get that N or six minus 600 Newtons times uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 meters plus NBE times 0.5 meters minus NCF times 0.2 meters equals zero. Yeah? Everyone okay with that? Okay. So that would be true. Okay, there's one right there. And, and we find that really we have one, you know, you're going to end up with three equations and four unknowns, or in this case, one equation and two unknowns. So we need a compatibility condition. So we need compatibility. And compatibility means that we need to look at the deformations or kinematic relationships or deformation geometry to see if we can find some relationship that has to stay true for this beam. So here I would have a compatibility, compatibility here. And so I want to draw, if I go back to my schematic, you know, when I apply my force here, I figure, oh, you know, it's probably going to just rotate like this. Yeah. Okay. 
It's going to rotate some distance. It's going to move across right here like this. And what's going to happen is I'm going to shorten. I'm going to move, you know, over here some distance right here. And I'm going to move this distance right here. Okay. And I'm going to call these distances for now. I'm going to call them delta of B and delta of point C. Delta of B and delta of point C. Now, what what that what what does heck what the heck does that mean here? I have to be very careful here. This delta B delta C right here, I can, I have to relate the two together, right? And the way I'm going to relate the two is by similar triangles. I have here delta B over this length right here, which is 0.5 meters is equal to delta C over 0.2 meters, okay? All right, okay, so, so far so good. So that, that's the start of our compatibility relationship, but this compatibility relationship is actually kind of tricky. And, and really, there, there are very few places that explain it. 0.5 meters, and delta C is 0.2 meters. And now what you would normally proceed to do, having this relationship, you would probably go, okay, that deformation in B is the same as if I had this deformation in BE, okay? And you would say, oh, okay, that is uh, uh, NBE, the force in BE times the length of BE over EABE. Uh, you know, times 1 over 0.5 meters is equal to NC or NC, NCF, LCF over EACF times 1 over 0.2 meters. And you would proceed to do this and you would be wrong. Okay? You proceed to do this, you'll be wrong. And, and the reason that, that there would be an error here is that you're missing a negative sign, and the, the negative sign that you're missing is as follows, okay? So let's start with, with delta B right here. This delta B here, this deformation of B here is elongation of BE, right? It means tension of BE. So that means that, means that, that BE right there, because you have tension, of BE right here, this deformed shape matches the way you drew the force. So you keep the positive sign. You keep, you keep, this is, this is, this jives with the way you drew this drawing plus this deformation makes sense. But here, this deformation, which implies compression over here of CF, does not make sense with the way you drew the force. But you drew the force as tension. That means that it doesn't make sense. So you need a negative sign here to correct that. Okay. And then assuming EAs are the same. Okay. So let's assume EAs are the same. EAs are the same. Now EAs also EA. EA all same in lengths. Right here. So now then our relationship is going to be okay, and we would get that NBE, uh, NBE times LBE. What was LBE? That was uh, 0.5 meters. Oh, that works out nice. 0.5 over 0.5 is equal to minus NCF times LCF. What was LCF? Was Oh, LCF was 0.5. Shoot. 0.4 over 0.5 times 0.5 over 0.2, and then if, oh, these, no, they don't cancel out. What's wrong with me, right? 0.5, and can someone give me an, an, an equation result for this in terms of some, like one number, NBE is equal to uh, some number negative, anybody? Fifty divided twenty-five over eight. Yeah, duh. Yeah, minus twenty-five over eight times NCF, 
and that would be our that next relationship right here and now you have your you know this is our, our second equation and our first equation and now you can solve for this and you'll be accurate you'd get a result if you did it the other way it just it wouldn't be right okay so all right so hopefully i don't need to go more beyond that so enjoy